This is the Temple of Geek Cosplay Connection. Your inside connection to the world of cosplay. This is Katie with Temple of Geek Cosplay Connection, episode three. Uh, we're here in Los Angeles meeting with Monster Match. Monster Match. Really. Monster Match. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about yourself? Well, uh, my, book, my, book, my Facebook page is called Monster Mash. That's what I'm known as in the cosplay world. My Instagram is it as well. Uh, my Twitter account is Real Monster Mash. Somebody was impersonating me, so therefore I had to open up a <laughs> Twitter account. Yeah, seriously, flattering in a weird way, but terrible nonetheless. Uh, so about myself, I've been cosplaying now for exactly three years. They all started as Halloween costumes, though, so that counts. I've been doing it for a lot longer than that. And uh, just parlayed it into uh, cosplay when I, when I accidentally discovered that three summers ago. Let's see, I live here in uh, Los Angeles, uh, born and raised, and I work as a physical therapist not too far from here. And my day to day job is a normal non cosplayer. Um, so, what got you into cosplaying? Well, my love of Halloween, basically. Uh, I just, you know, it's my favorite time of the year. So basically, it's me an excuse to celebrate Halloween 20 times a year. <laughs> and uh, I actually, the, the story about the, how I got into cosplay is kind of cool. Actually, I accidentally discovered it. I was down in San Diego the weekend of Comic Con, just totally coincidental, uh, in 2012, visiting somebody that was briefly dating down there. She just wanted me to come down and hang out. It happened to be Comic Con weekend, so we went down there to check it out. Didn't have tickets, just checked out from the outside, mm -hmm. and I saw the, the cool cosplayers walking around, and I was like, oh wow, this is so cool, I did this for Halloween a few years ago, I'll have to come back here and do this. I didn't know that there were conventions all over, tons here in LA, mm -hmm. and then luckily somebody handed me a flyer to Kamikaze. So that was taking place about two months later that year, I said, oh great, I'll, I'll do that there. And uh, that's where it all began, and uh, it was just a, a life-changing day pretty much. And I, then the story gets even better. Um, a good cosplay friend of mine, her name is Angie Viper, some of you probably know her. I accidentally met her because we were both featured in a YouTube video that day oh, cool. from Kamikaze. And I was looking back at the video a few weeks later, and she happened to make a comment about, you know, hey, hey Wolverine, this is Dark Phoenix, looking good in the video. So we started talking and, and hanging out, and um, thanks to being friends with her, I then discovered all the other conventions and met other people, other cool photographers, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. basically those two things were what got me into it. Just a total stroke of luck. So how many cosplays do you do? Well, I do mainly Wolverine, as we know, but I do several, I mean, like, got these like 20 different versions I could do of them. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen some of them. Yeah. So that, that counts as probably more than one, even though it's the same character, technically. But I also do Rocky Balboa, that's my favorite one. Okay. Because he was the reason I started working out 30 years ago. I wanted to look like Sylvester so Stallone growing up. <laughs> that's a long time. Yeah, so I'm also in the loving Stallone. I'm also a big Rambo fan, so I've okay. done Rambo a couple times. I did that a couple weeks ago for the first time in a few years. Yeah, I think I saw pictures of yeah. you just recently did that one. Yeah, down in Long Beach. Long Beach Comic Con. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just yeah. two weeks ago. And then I also debuted my Terminator cosplay the day before that, okay. which is something I've always wanted to do. I saw pictures of that one too, it looked really good. Thank you. Yeah, it took about three hours to do the makeup, so it was pretty complicated. And uh, a long time ago I did a Batman cosplay that just happened to be because it was Halloween time. And it was okay. right around the time that I met Angie, so she dressed as Catwoman. We got together with a couple of her friends, did a really cool photo shoot. So I technically will call that one of my cosplays. I mean, you said you're a Wolverine cosplayer, obviously. Yeah, mainly. And I've, I've always been a Wolverine fan. Okay. I, I was reading X-Men comics, you know, 30 years ago when I was 13 years old, 14 years old, and, and uh, always loved that character. I loved the character on Saturday morning cartoons, you know, for the animated series. I had no idea I resembled Hugh Jackman at the time, because <laughs> I usually didn't have much of a beard. And then about 10 years ago, when he started becoming really famous with the third X-Men movie, again, I didn't have a beard yet, so I don't know how people noticed it, but some people were telling me that I looked a lot like Hugh Jackman. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's, that's cool to hear. And I thought, okay, well, it's Halloween in a couple months. I'll uh, maybe I'll grow my beard and make some claws and uh, dress up as him for Halloween. So that's how it took off. The claws are pretty cool. Thanks. Those are the ones I actually bought. The ones I made are not quite as cool. But for what they were, they were cool. And, mm -hmm. and if you find really old pictures of me at my first two conventions, you can actually see them. Can you tell us some about, like, uh, about some of your more unique cosplays? Because I know you did, I saw you at D23. Mm -hmm. um, as Logan. Right, yeah. So it was a Logan Gaston mashup. Right. And then I, you were also at the. And, and you probably know Hugh Jackman played Gaston on Australia's Broadway many years ago. Yes, so, I heard that. Yeah, yeah, so that was what kind of made that a no brainer since I had to do a Disney thing. 
It looks fantastic. And I, I do like Beauty and the Beast. It's actually one of my favorite Disney cartoons. Okay, and then I also saw pictures of you from, I think you went to the Star Wars celebration, mm -hmm. and you were like a... Jedi Wolverine. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can you tell, can you tell us a little bit about Sure. That? Well, my claws are made by my friend over at Hoku Props. Okay. And um, I've seen, it's funny, because I'm getting this, this artwork that inspired me to do it. It's actually getting really circulated for some reason lately. But I saw it a couple of years ago. There was a cool picture of Wolverine as a Jedi. Oh. He's like slashing like a stormtrooper's arm off. And that's what kind of put the, um, it's like not a good day to be a stormtrooper. Yeah. And that's what kind of gave me the idea, because he had like, you know, like lightsaber claws coming out of his hands and kind of a Jedi outfit. So with Star, the Star Wars celebration coming up, I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars fan too, okay. since I was a child. I was like, what can I do to combine? Because again, I had to keep my beard. Yeah. And I didn't want to just do a traditional, you know, stormtrooper or Jedi or whatever. But what yeah. can I do? And I'm like, well, I'll, I'll bring the Jedi Wolverine to life. So I, you know, asked my buddy Hoku Props and uh, told him what I wanted to do. And he designed those badass uh, lightsaber claws for me to actually light up. Those and, were really yeah. cool. So how often do you attend events that you cosplay at? I've been going to, since I really got into this, I'd say, uh, I average probably about 10 conventions a year. Okay. Yeah, like four big ones and, you know, maybe like five or so smaller ones. Mm -hmm. And I do a lot of photo shoots too in between conventions. Okay. Yeah. Because I met you at NerdCon in right. Escondido. Yeah. Um, you were at D23, Star mm -hmm. Wars Celebration. Did you go to Comic Con this year? Or oh, yes. I've been to the last three. Okay. Yes. Um, are you going to Kamikaze this mm -hmm. year? That's my conversary. That's where it all started for me. I like it. So, yeah, I have my tickets. I'll be there um, about a month from now. Did you go to WonderCon this year? I've been to the last three WonderCons. Okay. Yeah. There's like a million cons. Yeah, I've been to the last four Long Beach Comic Cons. Yeah, Long Beach Comic Con. That's my first 4 P. And I do some charity events too, and um, I've done some cool yeah. things like that. Um, so, you got anything new coming up? New cosplays, anything? I don't have any new ideas on the horizon. Hopefully I'll think of something. I mean, it's, it's hard to keep reinventing the wheel with my Wolverine. I think I've nailed every possible combination or whatever I could do of them, um, you know, other than just doing the whole mask. But, you know, it's like then you don't even know it's me. It could be okay. anybody under it. And, yeah. and, and a really good mask is super expensive, too. I'm not yeah. about to bust out 300 bucks for a, yeah. you know, a good mask, which is what they would cost. So the next events you're going to are... We got Kamikaze this mm -hmm. year. I'm doing a, uh, a Christmas charity event. I, I did it last year with a bunch of my cosplay friends. It was organized by Kids Can Cosplay. Okay. Good, good bunch of people. They're um, a father and his two kids and very good friends of mine. They're, they're part of our Agents of Cosplay group too. I'm, I'm a member of that organization as oh, well. okay. Yeah, so occasionally we have booths. We're gonna have a, a, a thing at Kamikaze. Yeah, and he organized a, um, a charity event in conjunction with Toys for Tots last year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we helped out a bunch of um, you know um, families that aren't doing so well around the holidays. We were the entertainment for them, and Toys for Tots donated a bunch of toys for their kids. Okay. Yeah, it was a wonderful day. So they couldn't wait to have us back, and we'll do that in um, I guess late December. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to plug yourself? So people will follow you. Sure. All right. Well, um, you find me mainly on Facebook at Monster Mash. Uh, Instagram, I post occasionally, you know, maybe three or four times a week as well. Also called Monster Mash. Twitter's Real Monster Mash. And um, check out my, like I said, the organization I belong to, Ages of Cosplay. We have a Facebook and Instagram page as well. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. So this much. is very flattering. You come all the way out here just to interview <laughs> me. This is. Once again, Katie with Temple of Geek Cosplay Connection. Stay tuned to the Temple of Geek for any further episodes in the future.